once you've made your make human, we're looking at creating some of your own um, clothes for them. You might want to clothe them, you might want to put some stuff. You know, make human has some inbuilt clothes and you can get stuff from the community. But if you want to make your own clothes, I recommend watching what we're going to do. You know, So we're going to export as Make Human Exchange MX, MHX2 to a folder called Billy MHX2. <clears throat> now I'm going to save it. I mean, why not? You should always save stuff. Okay, so we're going to go into uh, Blender 2.79, and there's a good reason for that. You can get Blender 2.79, get the old version, because it seems to, for some reason, Blender 2.79, when you import the MHX2 file, seems to, all of the rotations are correct, and everything seems to work nicely uh, for facial expressions and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's because it's an older kind of file, but do it. This is the way I found that it works. So this is how I'm doing it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna export it and then import it into here. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was like messing about there a little bit. Okay, so Blender 2.79, A and then A again. Delete everything. And I've already got the MHX2 runtime installed. Uh, there you go. Make sure you've got the Make Human MHX2 runtime installed. Okay. So if you've got all of that, then we're just going to import our MHX2 file. Uh, so it's amazing. And then. Um, I'm going to go into object mode and make sure we select everything and we're just going to completely just export it as an F FBX. This just seems to sort out all of the uh, rotation settings and everything quite nicely. We want to um, remove, we don't have any modifiers on there but we'll do that. Get rid of leaf bones and I don't like any of that stuff. So yeah, do that. Then we're going to export it. Now we're in a Blender new version, like 2.9 plus kind of thing. And uh, we delete all of the nonsense and then import our FBX. Um, Billy 2, I think. There we go. Right, so we're just going to create, create some basic... Um, just going to use the same topology as the object to create its own t-shirt and some trousers. Just very simple, but um, because they're already they already got the weights painted on them, they'll just work quite nicely for like a simple thing. And you could always like um, add textures and uh, change materials over the thing to get different um, effects. <clears throat> so I'm just um, importing the skin texture here. I'm not sure which one it is because I have a couple of different ones. Choose whichever one you like. You probably have slightly different ones depending on what you've chosen and the model will be a bit different depending on what you've chosen. Yeah, well the eyes, that's a different subject. I don't know why it, for some reason it does that but we... You can just unwrap them again and fix that yourself. <laughs> that that's in another tutorial we're just looking at um doing some basic clothes for make human at the moment so i'm just going to ring select that with um shift and alt left click and ring select a few other things i'm just kind of trying to figure out where i want my t-shirt to go select them however you want just um oops you know 
control Z to go back if you make a problem. <clears throat> okay, so that's the kind of basis for my t-shirt. Gonna go into wireframe. Try and select most of it. <clears throat> Gonna over a little bit, but we'll sort that out. Okay, so there's a few bits over here and there. No, it is what it is. Just uh, press C and then middle mouse button click, I think. To oh, there you go. Okay, that's the bone coming out the back. I think. Ah. Not quite looping around the neck properly. Just select that a little bit. Ay ay ay. Yeah. Okay. I think that I've kind of got the t-shirt area selected. So I'm going to separate it. We're in edit mode. I'm going to. S oh, there you go. Oh, it's all gone weird. It's all gone so strange. So we'll just go separate by selection, back into object mode, and then uh, we've got the separate object because we separated it by selection, which is nice, right? Now it's probably still got the same material as the body, which would look weird if we looked at it, but you know. And then I'm just adding a modifier, thickness modifier. But when you go like minus, it seems to go, the thickness comes out, but if you go the way you think you would go, it kind of goes inwards. So, I don't know, it seems back to front to me, but whatever. Get it to something like that. And this is going to look ugly because it's going to be like the skin texture all over the. Uh oh. We got skin texture on my t shirt. <laughs> So just delete the material and create a new material. Call it something like t-shirt or something. There are good things about doing it this way and bad things. I mean, it's all going to work quite nicely with the with the the rig that's already on it. So if you create it this way, it's pretty much already rigged to the model. <clears throat> you might have to do a few tweaks here and there. Tweak the materials and everything, obviously. Well, we don't actually have a material for the t-shirt yet, so we'd have to create one of those. But, and we can't texture paint on it. So, until we go over here... Hang on, where are we? <clears throat> no, still can't. Okay. So I think I realised I have to create a new... A new image there. Now we can uh, draw it on that. Nice. And um, our brush textures, obviously, if we want to use textures for our brush, we can load textures in here. I don't actually have any, so I'm just going to, I don't know, look for anything to see if it works. Well, you can kind of see it, but it's working, but it's not very good. Uh, brush texture, it's not really a brush texture, so yeah, don't worry about that. But you could paint it all, it's already textured out for you. Always remember though to, um, if you do anything like this, always press the save all images. Um, always press that because this here, save all images. You need to press this, otherwise um, everything you do will be forgotten, and that kind of sucks. Well, there you go, you, you've got a t-shirt, you can draw on the t-shirt. You know the uh, quality isn't the best, but you can 
deal with that and you, or you can change the settings muck about with the settings this is just a tutorial just showing like uh, how to make some um, basic clothes where you make human models all right so <clears throat> So when you export your X, FBX, it's gonna. Hello. We're exporting it, so hopefully we get all the textures on saved out. <coughs> There you go, there's the, basically made a t shirt there. It's a bit shiny in that, obviously, so you'd have to go into the shininess of it. The shininess? What do you mean the shininess? Don't you mean the specular or the. No, no, I mean the shininess. To go into the shine <coughs> specular and change the roughness and the, all of that. Okay, so now we're creating the trousers. You know, if you're here, you probably know how to select things and do all that kind of stuff. So really, I don't need to tell you how to do that. I don't always do it very well. But hey, I get there. I get there in the end. And you know, if you if you get there in the end, you're doing well. Because uh, a lot of people give up. Because I can tell why. Because it's, uh, it's, it's a tricky business. But hey, everyone wants to write a rap song, don't they? So, hmm. Anyways, enough about rap songs and the music. So, now we have trousers. So let's separate them again by selection. And let's add a modifier. Let's go back into object mode. Add a modifier, solidify, modifier. Solidify, modify, solidify, modify. Right. And the thickness minus. Because minus seems to come outwards. Uh, oh, he's kind of got uh, skin trousers. <laughs> oh, skin trousers. Okay, new material. Quickly, hurry up, get rid of the skin trousers. We we'll call them. What should we really call them? Let's call them trousers. Brilliant. Okay, so now we can change the base color of our trousers, can't we? Uh, and then um, roughness is obviously does the shininess and metallicness and blah blah blah. blah. Yes. So this is kind of like a way to make already. I mean, if you if you use it seems like if you use the ge geometry that you've exported, that um, the clothes already move with the bone structures which is quite nice so like when we select this it's already moving with it because it seems to have copied you know I don't know but it just it's quite beautiful it's a beautiful machine but I could only give you 50p for the machine okay so what you have to do is make something for yourself from this I can only pass on the knowledge that I have and I own in my own brain piece. So, thank you. And I hope you get some kind of... Uh, some kind of knowledgeings from this. And I don't know... Oh, whoopsie daisies. Yeah. Now we've gone belly 80s. We're going to go backwards. Mm-hmm. Mm so yes, we have created clothes for our make human model and they are already uh, modelled to the model to the rig skeletons. Okay, so thank you please.
and there has been a rigged model with make human clothes so if you like make human and you don't know how to make clothes now you know kind of how to make some clothes hey as an afterthought let's try and chuck some hair on here we're not gonna be too uh, vicious about it we're just gonna separate it by selection again um, and then uh, add another solidify modifiers to it yes uh, or Brick, brick, brr. Okay. Yeah, everything looks okay. Blah. Bing, bing, bing. What do we need? Oh. Right, no, go to the material section. Materials. Materials. There's okay. I mean, this is meant to give you an idea of how to make some clothes for your make human model. You could use a similar idea to make clothes for any model. Select the topologies, you know, um, extrude them or separate them by selection and then extrude or solidify them. It's just nice because the um, you're going to get the topologies of your underlying base mesh so it works pretty good well there you go here is punky 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 monkey number three knocking about the bone structures well yeah there you go so make human with some of our own clothes on there I say our own quotation marks but that you know it's pretty much our own right 